What's up, everybody? So this video again, I'm gonna get straight to the point. My friend had a rapture dream, an end time dream, and I'm finna just try to break down and explain all this stuff. Just the stuff that I'm getting, everything to the best of my ability. Cause I always pray for I do a video, the guy give me the revelation and the understanding and the wisdom I need to, to get this stuff out to y'all. So I'm gonna read, cause basically what happened was a month ago, I was at work and she called me like, cause my shift started at 6 a.m. and I usually get off around like 12 in the afternoon, like 2 p.m. She called me at like 7 a.m. and she don't ever call me that early. So as soon as she called me, I knew something was up. She called me and she was like, I had a dream. As soon as she said, I was like, okay, I was like, okay, tell me what happened. She texted everything to me. I'm gonna just read it. So here's my dream in detail. I was at some type of carnival outdoors and I was looking up at the rides, talking to a girl next to me about how I'm afraid of heights. So she was at like a carnival or something. Then we got on the topic of planes because she couldn't believe that I've never been on one. She was trying to basically tell me that getting on the plane isn't scary and it's fine, but she started to talk as if I was going on the plane soon. Rapture. She was like, oh yeah, a plane isn't scary. Once you're up there, the view is cool, and then you'll be able to hear people praying to God, but he won't hear their prayers anymore. And you'll see in the sky, the smoke will read, he's coming soon or his return is soon. Something like that. And I and I instantly in the dream was awake or aware that this is an important message and that I need to take mental notes so that when I wake up, I can write down every detail. So at this point, it felt like a vision more than a dream because I was aware. So then the girl disappears and now I'm looking at three different events from a high view and all three scenes were on the stage. The first view was some type of place with a dark stage and on the stage was a picture of some evil man and I saw the shadow of a man with horns and I instantly knew it was the Antichrist and was afraid of my dream. So I feel like that's why he was a shadow because I tried my best not to look at him. I did not want to know who he was or what he looked like. So I tried to avoid what I was being shown. Then it switches to another stage and on this stage was Trump. I'm not sure why, but I saw him on the stage talking to everyone, and again, this stage looked dark. I remember I remember seeing Free, Free, F-R-E-E, -E, Free, Free on the stage, too. In the, in, my, in the dream, I could hear every word they were saying, and I was purposely praying. I was purposely playing close attention because I knew that once I woke up, I could write it all down, and I was remembering it. All but for some reason, once I woke up, I could not recall not one word from the speeches. Anyways, Trump was talking and I saw a free free and then the dream switches to the last stage and there were a lot of people that were clapping and someone was talking and they announced Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, to come out and I saw some other people walking into the room who were there supporting them and they were dressed like they were not from the U.S. Then they announced someone else and it said uh, the same shadow guy with the devil horns. I knew this meant he was the Antichrist, and again, I had no interest in seeing him or trying to figure out who it was, but I couldn't look away from the vision, but he was a shadow. As everyone clapped and cheered for him, I'm on the outside of the place, and I was standing next to an old man, and when I looked at him, all he said was, they need to fix this elevator, and he was trying to get on the elevator, and I woke up. So, that was her dream. The free free, I don't know what it meant, but basically I came on here because I feel like I need to come on here to tell y'all this. So I don't know what everybody views is about the rapture. You got pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, and see this thing. The the best the best way I can describe it is like this. The best thing to do is be ready. Be prepared for the worst. That's what the Bible helps us to do. I got the scripture right here on the wall. I got all the scriptures in a circle on the wall. It say, you know, don't be afraid, don't don't be discouraged. It says, Joshua one nine, this is my command: fear not, for the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go. So whatever it is, whatever we go through, God is gonna be with us regardless of 
anything that we are going through. Same with Shadrach, Meshach, and them. They had to go through the fire, and Jesus was them right. He was right there with them. They came out untouched. So, before I say anything, the best thing to do is be prepared for the worst. Be ready. Stock up on food. Make sure you got, you know, the weapons that you need, you know, if we have to go through the tribulation period. Now, me, that's, that's why I'm letting y'all know this, because I want people to be ready. Now, my beliefs as far as what I believe in, and I'll make a whole separate video about it. I believe in, you know, pre-trib because it's the only one that logically makes sense to me. The other ones, I'm not bashing the other ones. You know, if it, if if we got to go through trip, okay, so be it. I know God with me. I know God with us. So if that's the case, okay, I'm not, you know, it's whatever. It's what God, God let God will be done. But I believe in pre-trib and, you know, the, the, the evidence in the Bible and make, you know, it's strong evidence for that. Same, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls. You look up the evidence in the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's right there. But this is what I'm trying to explain to y'all, folks. All this stuff in the end times, all this stuff, all this prophecy, all this stuff that's happening. I want you to think about it like this. It say in the Bible, in the last days, God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. People will have dreams, visions, they're going to be prophesying. And I want you to think about this. The only dreams that I see, I ain't never had no, I ain't never seen no dream of somebody saying, the, I ain't never seen nobody on YouTube come out and say, I had a, a, a dream of the rapture after the tribulation. I ain't never seen that before. I ain't never seen that. Only ones I see is the rapture before the tribulation, and I seen left behind dreams. The rapture happened, people get left behind. That's the only ones I seen. Because if God pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, and people having these dreams, and people having rapture dreams, and they seeing Donald Trump and the Antichrist, it only makes sense God trying to like show people, like he trying to show people. And see, I'm gonna tell you this. A lot of it's, it's people out here that's really here. Like Dana Coverstone, I know for like bro. I, his dream almost got a million views. He believe in preacher of rapture. And he be seeing Jesus in his dream all the time. So that's to tell you something right there. You can test the spirits from what I get from him. He, he ain't telling nothing but the absolute truth. You feel me? And God is, because the way I see it, if, if God gave this man a dream, and he getting millions of views off of his dream, and dreams, and multiple dreams, and all these dreams, it ain't nothing but God, and he letting these people know. And Dana Coverstone, he believe in pre-trib. So, obviously, his beliefs must be right because God revealing stuff to him. You feel me? And on top of that, it's just, it's, it's making sense to me. And the thing I want to express to y'all is this. So, you got all this stuff with, with Joe Biden, Donald Trump. You got, I think it's in Jerusalem, they talking to the the so called Messiah, and then you got the Pope, and you got Barack. Obama. I'm, a, cause I'm, a, I'm gonna just this is what I'm gonna say right here. Okay. So, I know y'all know about the generation of the fig tree. When once Israel became a nation, Israel became a nation in 1948. A generation, according to the Bible, is 70 to 80 years if the leaves are strong. So, you know, I guess the 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 latest. The rapture could take place before the start of the seven-year tribulation period. It's 2021. Now I'm not setting dates. I'm not saying this is gonna happen that day. It's just what I what I because like I said, I do research. But at the same time, it might go it might go further than it because I'm gonna tell you this: the seventh millennium is 2030. So I think these the next five to ten years is very critical for this earth because. I don't know what God gonna do. Like I said, let God will be done. I don't know what God gonna do. I don't know what Jesus gonna do. But at the same time, think about it like this. If Donald Trump get reelected, which I think he will, if he get reelected, and God using him to protect the church, does that mean we're gonna be here for another four years because maybe it's more work that need to be done. So maybe we're gonna see after 2021. Now, I don't know, but I prayed, I prayed about this. I'm I'm doing research. I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. And then you got, you know, the Vatican. Ain't 
the Vatican, that's, that's, that's an evil place because they got all these idols over there. And just, the Vatican's just bad. It's bad. Out. It's, it's bad. This is like the Roman Catholic Church. That was the start of the beast system. And you got the Pope. He might be the false prophet because they changing the Ten Commandments. You know, in Catholicism, you got to ask. The, man, look, it's it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot to be going on. And I, I go, because see, when you look at people's dreams, dreams are symbolic. And I'm going to tell you this. I've seen two people's dreams. Now, I know that the dream I just read, y'all, a girl can see what the Antichrist was. But I've seen other people's dreams. They said God revealed them. God revealed to them who the Antichrist was. It was Barack Obama. I can believe that because Barack Obama's name in Hebrew, it means to fall like lightning. Who did Jesus say he saw fall like lightning from heaven? Satan. That's who he saw fall like lightning. And on top of that, you know, it's 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 a lot of stuff that go into this. You feel me? But you gotta test the spirit, you gotta look and it's a dude, the dude, one of the dudes I'm talking about, his name is Mac Praise. He on YouTube. God's God be revealing a lot of stuff to him. He done seen the Antichrist. You know, he's he's talking about the false prophet, the Pope. And me personally, I think the false prophet is a pope because he basically saying, I think he was saying like there's more than one way to get to heaven. You know, we all serve the same God, saying stuff that's not in the Bible because God's word is not going to contradict itself because God is not all the confusion. God is not a man and he can lie. God ain't a man. He's a spirit. God not gonna, He can't lie. It's, it goes against his nature to lie. Can God go against his own nature? No, he can't because he's perfect. So God perfect. He can't make no mistakes. So I want you to think about this. All this stuff going on, the end times, they speeding up. And then you got, I think in Jerusalem, they, they said they talking to the Messiah. I don't know who the Messiah is that they talking to, but that might be the Antichrist because my Messiah up there in heaven waiting to come down and snatch his bride away. Now, they talking about, you know, they having convers they said it's a rabbi over there having a conversation with the Messiah. I don't know who the Messiah is, but they, it's like they conditioning these folks because they know who coming, the Antichrist coming. Like, they know who coming. That's why you, you see all this predictive programming stuff on TV. You got the Simpsons. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they predicted Kobe death. They predicted just the, just everything. And then they got the rapture happening before the tribulation in one of the shows. And it's almost like it's, it, they putting this stuff right in front of our face. But a lot of people blind to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people blind to it. That's why the Bible say, be aware of Satan's device because we can't get so sucked in and stuff. We got to make sure we, you know, fast and praying, reading the word, getting in his presence, seeking God for answers. Because see, the thing is with me, yes, I know God can use people to give people an answer. But I usually, I go to God himself for answers. That's what I do. I go to God for answers. I don't, I don't go to man. I go, I come in my room, put music on, I get on my knees, and I put my head on the floor, and I bow down to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I get on my knees and I pray. I put music on, and I ask God, you know, please give me an answer. Please give me the answers that I need, because, like I said, who, who is the best teacher? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the best teacher. You got all this stuff going on. You got, it say, in Matthew, it say in the last days, it's going to be earthquakes, famines. You got a food shortage coming. You got all these earthquakes happening in diverse places. You got all this all this stuff going on that, you know, the Christians, they are aware of, but some people, they not really aware of. Some people don't really know exactly. So the, 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 the number one thing I be trying to tell folks is this. You got, you know, the Democratic Party, and you got all this, all this legislation. It's like this. The election's still going on. It's still trying to, cause see, I think I think Dana Cumberstone had a dream of, of, of people cheating during the election, or throwing ballots, some some throwing votes away, or something like that. Okay, so I want you to think about this. A lot of people they look at Donald Trump, they look at Joe Biden. Okay, one thing Joe Biden is against. You know he he is not for, um, like he's for abortion. He's not against it. But in the Bible, you know, God said he hates people that, that, that innocent. 
he 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 hates people that kill innocent blood. Trump is for, you know, he not for abortion. Like he's against it. And then you got, you know, people talking about him with, you know, how he got all these people in cages, but people don't realize, like, you know, like the immigrants in cages. People don't realize that's been going on since Barack Obama was in office. Now the thing is with me, I didn't vote for nobody because God know who gonna win. Because why wouldn't he? Because then the Bible said God raises up kings and he tears them down. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I said it because I think God just put a thought in my head. Because think about this. The number seven is prophetic. Because, okay, so in the book of Revelation, you got the seven seals, seven trumpets, the judgments. You got all the seven, seven, seven. This guy number seven, seven, because it's, it's, it, I think it represents like completion and perfection. So it's number seven. Okay, so... What's going? What what I'm getting is, with Donald Trump, right? Okay, he is in. What's a good way to put it? Cause I was explaining it to my friend yesterday. Okay, I get it. So, like I said, the seven millennia. That's 2030. Okay, then you got in the Bible. It literally says the seventh king will run. And I think it says he'll continue for a short time. Then, after that, the eighth king will come. The eighth king is the Antichrist. And God raises up kings and he tears them down. So what I'm getting is Donald Trump, if he get reelected, he might be the seventh king because if he get reelected, I think it's gonna be another four years of grace because he he God's using him to make America repent. Because it's David Lynn posted it on his Instagram. Donald Trump said if he get back in office, he is not gonna force the vaccine. And the people got to remember, the vaccine, the page number for it is 666. The name for it is Luciferian A, Lucifer. Don't be blind, don't be deceived by it. So if that's the case, you know, Donald Trump, uh, he, he is like, you know, cause he, God, I guess God using him to protect the church. So if that's the case, I really want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. He might be the seventh king. If he get reelected again, and after he's done, after he come out of office, Antichrist gonna rise up. I think I have a feeling Antichrist is already here, but he just he ain't popped up on the scene fully yet. So it's stuff that still gotta happen. It's stuff that we still waiting on. It's stuff that we still trying to figure out. I believe that if we keep searching for the answer, if we keep truly diligently seeking out God. He'll give us the answers. He's going to protect his people. He's going to keep his people safe because what's going on in this world is it's, it's getting crazy day by day. But that's why we have to intercede. For, we got to intercede for America. People having dreams and visions of Russia and China invading the U.S. and seeing military soldiers and coming in, people having FEMA camps and market abuse, getting the planning on people. Then you got God, you got Jesus appearing to little kids showing them the rapture first and then showing them like, you know, just all hell breaking loose to the coronavirus and people dying and, you know, just all, all these just demons on the earth. And it's 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 making sense because, like I said, God is not the God of confusion. So that's the case. We really, we, we got to pray harder than we ever prayed before. We got to fast. We got to just seek out God. We got to seek God for the answers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make... After this video, I'm gonna make a separate video about the rapture, whether it's before, middle, or after. I'm gonna give you the evidence that I that I see, that I'm reading about when I pray about this, and God will give me the revelation that I need because I think I got a word from Him about a month ago. I think I really got some revelation like that. As soon as I was riding the car, I was like, "Whoa, that makes sense." But I want y'all to just with this video right here, share it, and just. Pray about it. Pray for discernment. Ask God to reveal you something. Ask God to reveal to you something that I may not know. Or ask him to reveal you something about the dream that this girl had. Because I told you I had a I had a tribulation dream before. And during the dream, I seen all these police cars, people were shooting at me. And when I got home, I, my, my family was there and we missed the rapture. And I got in my brother's face and I told him, I said, we missed the rapture. So please pray about this dream. Ask God to reveal to you something. 
just ask him to just help you with anything that, that I said because it, just ask him, just pray. That's all I can ask you to do. And like I said, the goal of this channel is to get as many people to accept Jesus Christ into their heart as possible because he is the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And let his will be done. In Jesus' name I pray.